Hi everybody, welcome back to Anubis Eats. I'm Anubis and today I'm going to be eating these ribs with this uh, apple and habanero hot sauce that I whipped up tonight. If you want to see how I made it, go check out my Instagram. Link's down in the description. But uh, basically it's an apple, a plum, um, a big chunk of pineapple, and then uh, two red habaneros, a yellow or orange habanero, as well as a serrano pepper and uh, I used uh, the apple cider vinegar for the base. So um, my goal is to uh, basically eat this rack of ribs and uh, in under 10 minutes and survive the burn. I think this could be a lot hotter than the one I did last week. Pretty chunky. Let's see, mix it around. Really smell the apple cider vinegar. Um, the one I did last week, it was fairly spicy. It only had one habanero in it, so I thought this week I'd kind of make things a little, little hotter. Um, the two habaneros that I, or the three habaneros that I used, one was kind of on the small side, so we'll call it two and a half, and then that serrano pepper. Just for a little little extra kick. Anyways, here we go. Let's try it out. You definitely feel the heat right away. Hmm. It's good. I think I put enough um the sweet um Sweetness from the plum and the, the pineapple really, really goes well with the uh, pork ribs. Um, yeah, those habaneros give it quite a bit of kick. I think this is definitely going to gonna get the sweat going. Oh, lips are starting to burn now. My tongue. Oh, oh I'm not going to drink anything during this. I, I never do when I eat spicy stuff, but I don't know. I guess I like to suffer. The ribs I did, I just, uh, I boiled them for a little bit and then I threw them on the barbecue and finished them off, giving some flavor. Yeah, it's good. It's got a, it's got a good amount of heat. It's definitely burning my tongue pretty good. Top of my, top of my mouth a bit towards the back but not bad mostly mostly lips and tongue hmm I thought it was gonna be a little hotter with all the peppers in there I found some nice um, locally grown habanero so that was cool when locally I mean you know within a few hundred miles Ooh. Really got a lot of pineapple in that, but you could really taste it. It's just so good. I don't know. I figured, you know, applesauce goes well with pork and pineapple uh, goes well with pork. Why not try it out? I used the plum because I thought I might need a little more sugar. 
um, to offset that that vinegar, but maybe not. It's not overly sweet, but it's got a nice sweetness when you first put it in your mouth. Yeah, the habanero's got a nice nice heat to it. I like it. It's I guess it's still building a bit. If I had to rate it right now, so it's around about probably a low three. I wish I had a spoon so I could pile this stuff right on there. It's definitely, <coughs> it's definitely a different burn than the, the Sam Yang sauce that you might have seen me eating before. Yeah, it's building up good. Definitely around a closer to four now. Shovel it on there with my other pieces of ribs. If you like sweet and spicy, this is the way to go. Give it a try. This is good. This is more like it. The stuff last week was tasty, but it didn't have enough heat. This is this is better. Hmm. Sauce is good. The sweat's starting to run now. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that habanero is kicking in. It's a slow build. Ooh, definitely up around five now. Oh, so yummy, though. I gotta keep going. So delicious. Oh, make me cry a little bit now. Oh boy. Thought that was bone, it was a piece of meat. Oh. oh, my lips are on fire now. Three more to go. Ooh, sweet and spicy. They're good. All right, last one. Let's make it a good one. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's it. Well, I gotta say, those are the spiciest ribs I've had in any time that I can remember. <sighs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Ring that bell, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.